Uh, I'm really proud of our guys. Uh, I, I thought that was a – they really gutted out a really tough win uh, when we weren't at our best um, against a really good team. You know, uh, we were making shots. Uh, two of our leading scorers just didn't really have it tonight. you got to give credit to, to Maryland. They did a really good job of defending us. Um, it was a rock fight there for a while, and I thought our guys just kind of – stayed with each other and just kept defending and rebounding and let the offense come and let it happen. Uh, and just guys were making effort plays all over the court. Um, you know, I thought John Harrow and Jamari Wheeler were just tremendous, um, both defensively and offensively. Um, and I think you saw our guys really come together. We had guys step up off the bench for us tonight. Um, and I just thought that was a, just a great team win um, when things just weren't going well. I think that's a, that's a great thing to happen for us. Right now, as we're heading into the, the back end of, of conference uh, play right now. So for us to win like this, I think it's a credit to our guys. Thanks, Coach. Let's go ahead and begin with Mark Brennan. Corey Geiger, you're on deck. Jim, the turnover is late. I mean, you love to get the win, but where you're pulling your hair out a little bit, five turnovers in the last couple minutes. And then again, as you said, to be able to, to win that game despite that, you know, what does that mean about this group? Yeah, I, you know, it, it was a little concerning because, you know, it was a couple of guys that turned it over and, you know, and a couple of our guys that are normally our ball handlers at the end of the games. But uh, in the end, I think our guys, you, they didn't flinch, you know, and I think that's important. I think, you know, we got down on ourselves at Wisconsin. We didn't make shots and it affected our – defensive mentality or disposition and that didn't happen tonight but as we weren't making shots we were still grinding and playing you know we didn't we turned the ball over but we still got big stops and we got rebounds and we made plays um you know obviously it's something that we got to work on it's something that i don't think is going to happen all the time uh but it was a little concerning but it it, it was kind of almost appropriate for the way the game was played today it was just a, an ugly basketball game Jim, do you believe personally in must-win games? And when you're three and seven in the league, did, did you get your a sense that your players, again with Myron and Seth not scoring, do you get a sense that your players maybe felt that this was a must-win game? I didn't. I mean, this league is so hard. Everybody's so good, and there's so many opportunities. You know, I was a part of this program here. I think we were 0 and 9 or 0 and 10 in Big Ten play. And we wound up getting a bye in the conference tournament, right? So, you know, I, I didn't look at it, never mentioned it, never even thought about it, to be quite honest. I think looked at it like, hey, we got a really good Maryland team in here that just beat Purdue, and, you know, we got to play well. And that, that's what it is. Now we got to play well or play good enough, maybe not even well, just play good enough uh, to win. And now we got to do it. We got to face another opponent, a tough opponent on the road in Michigan State. You know, we, we got to, I'm not saying it's a must win at, any, at all, but. We want to win one in a league on a road. Like this is, you know, it's really challenging. So we, have, we have that in front of us. But now, uh, to answer the question, I guess more directly, I, I did not feel it was a must-win, and I really don't believe in that stuff. Coach Barry, Justin Morgenstein. Let's go to you next. Nate Bauer, you're on deck. Jim, your guys don't allow a field goal for the final seven thirty-two of that game. You know, what did you notice defensively during that stretch and? What does that do for a team's confidence that's obviously not having their best offensive night? You just saw how locked in they were. The communication was great. It was at such a high level, even in huddles and timeouts. Uh, but the way Jamari was guiding, talking to people, um, I thought we were just locked in. And, and you know, the rebounding, I mean, we, what are we? It was 25-11 in the second half on the glass. I thought we did a great job. And that's finishing possessions. That's finishing defensive possessions. And I thought our guys did a great job. And we, we had some – we had some pretty elite defensive stops uh, down the stretch to help us win that game. Nate Bauer, let's come to you next. Evan Patrick, you're on deck. Jim, just um, just given the the shooting percentages and the scoring numbers the last two games now, you know, is there is there something specific that these teams are doing to you? Do you feel like the shots are of the quality that you uh, had been getting before? Um. Yeah, I thought, I mean, listen, I thought at Wisconsin, we had some really good shots in that game. I thought at the start of the second half, wide open, good extra pass ones. Um, I thought in this game, they really guarded us with their length. Uh, they weren't big at the five spot, but their guards, and they were really long, and they were switching. They did a great job. They, they kept us out of the paint. 
Uh, we, we didn't get comfortable shooting a basketball. Um, but no, I, I think we'll be fine offensively. I really do. I'm not looking at it now saying, oh, God, two games, what are we going to do? Like, I'm not. I mean, it's a good, great question. Um, I think we'll be, I think we'll be okay. I, I also thought we were a little fatigued, guys. Um, I thought I, I kind of sensed it a little bit. You know, Jamari lied to me and said we were all set. Um, but I kind of sensed it in, in warm ups. There was just, we didn't have that, that pop to us. I thought we were a little bit fatigued. So uh, having a day off tomorrow is going to be uh, well needed. And everyone will get to grill Jamari on what he told Coach Ferry when he comes up next. But Evan Patrick, let's go to you. And Justin Morgenstein, we'll come back to you. We have no other questions. We'll wrap it up. Hey, Jim. Um, Miles was seemed pretty crucial in that in that run uh, towards the, the end of the first half to, to get things back to even. And then he had that big three to put you guys up seven there in the second half. What is, how valuable was he today? And what has he done to really solidify that role in the, in the closing five? He's, he was awesome tonight. I thought he was... You know, you guys noticed the sleeve wasn't on either. I think maybe that helped a little bit. His shoulders getting stronger. You know, he's putting in that work with, with Saz and, and Greg and trying to recover quickly. And he, he told me today, he said, Coach, I'm feeling good. I'm not going to wear it. And I was like, are you sure? And he's like, no, I feel really good. And I thought he was, you know, he was really big defensively because when they went small, what, what we would call small, with Scott at the five, we were able to have Miles guard him and use his strength and his mobility. And then that big three, you know, it reminded me of what he's done in the past. You know, you got to find him in conversion, and that was a huge three for us, momentum-wise. Justin Morgenstein, let's come to you. Nate Bauer, you'll have the last question of this session. And even though it was a little less so in the second half tonight, how crucial, you know, has discipline for you guys been over these last few games? And obviously, after Illinois and that stretch, what is, you know, just trying not to foul defense and accomplishing that meant for you guys? It's been everything. I mean, we've been talking about it, now we're doing it. You know, when we beat you from the foul line and we limit our fouls, uh, we've, we've given ourselves a chance to win. And I think, again, that's a, you know, it's a philosophy that I've, I've always had. And I think our group right now is really understanding it and seeing it. Um, and when you see it, that it works, I think you keep going to it. And, and the guys really did a good job with it. Um, you know, again, even I said this about the Wisconsin game. Um, in the second half, they got six free throws in a row. You know, if we could have controlled that, we would have had the lead going into that game. But, again, tonight I thought our guys really played with discipline, played with our hands straight up, pulled our arms back. Um, and, again, when we can do that, when we can attempt more free throws or, make, or certainly make more free throws than our opponent attempts, then, then you're going to get a chance to win the game, which is basically what we did tonight. Hey, Bauer, let's come to you for the final question of this session, and then we'll bring Jamari Wheeler up. Speaking of free throws, can you speak to the importance of, of how many makes that you guys had, um, you know, tonight versus I think you guys were shooting 70% coming into uh, tonight? Well, you know, 70% is actually, it, it, it's, it's not bad. It depends on who's shooting them, you know. Uh, but tonight, you know, John Hara and Jamari Wheeler just, you know, basically at the end was like, well, the game's going to be over. We're going to make our free throws. And that, that was huge for us. You know, it's huge. I mean, what would, we missed two free throws. I think John missed one and Brock missed one. But in crunch time, you know, guys stepped up and knocked him down. And that's uh, that's the way you can finish off an ugly game, you know, and you need to. Those are little things that have to be done. And, and to have the seniors do that, made me feel great. Great for them. Thanks, Coach. We appreciate you. We're going to let you guys stay here. but we're